There's a moment today, more than any I've seen in the past 30 years, where we can change the story of business. The story of business and the story of capitalism has been business is a bunch of greedy little bastards out trying to do each other in. And capitalism works because nature's red in tooth and claw and people are out there trying to outcompete each other. The managing stakeholders idea is that's uh, completely wrong and inappropriate and it's a bad narrative to go forward. Even if it did describe industrial capitalism uh, in uh, the late 19th and early 20th century, it's a bad idea. It's a it's, an, it's a story that really debases and disrespects human beings and our ideas about how we work together to create value for each other. The good news is that there's a moment today to change that, in part because of all the scandals, in part because of globalization, uh, in part because the old idea of capitalism is just broken down and really is no longer useful. So what I see all over the world is I see people worried about social responsibility. I see them worried about civil society. I see them worried about envir the environment and sustainability. I see them worried about making their companies a great place to work. I see them worried about something called social entrepreneurship entrepreneurs trying to create value to make the world be better. All of these ideas have to come together in the center of what capitalism is. That's what stakeholder idea is about. That's what stakeholder theory is. It says business creates value in a responsible way that takes care of the environment, that tries to make the world a better place, that engages employees, and it makes money for shareholders. Those things have to go in the same direction the idea that business and ethics and sustainability and responsibility are separate is an idea whose time has passed. We've got to put these things at the center of our story about capitalism. And there's a lot of work to be done. I can say this in grand terms, but the real work to be done is company by company and discipline by discipline uh, and story by story that we have to do. Now, sometime in the late 70s. Uh, we were writing a working paper about the stakeholder approach. We were sort of developing our version of it. And we sent it to a journal to be listed uh, as a working paper. We're trying to publish it in the journal just to be listed. The editor calls it, I think the title of the paper was uh, Stakeholder Management. And uh, the editor calls and says, hey, um, we got your paper, we'll list it. Uh, but there's a horrible typo in the title. It says stakeholder management. We know you mean stockholder management, but don't worry, we'll change it. So in a relatively few short years, that was roughly 30 years ago, in a few short years, the stakeholder idea has become not only part of our language, but a, a kind of controversial part of our language. That's a good thing because it means it's, it's already there. People are already thinking about, well, who's got a stake in this business? Some people argue, well, you know, it's a simple common sense idea. Other people argue as well, it's this radical idea. Other people argue, well, we've been doing this all along. And that's a good conversation to have. Because it says we put at the center of our way of thinking about capitalism, who's got a stake in this business? How does this business create value for them? How does it do so in a responsible and sustainable way?